What's up, Pisces? It's bonus time. So, any of you new to my channel here, the reason that I do these bonuses, the goal is to hopefully maybe get some details that I missed from the last reading. You know, that's the goal. Doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes it tells a completely different story about a different situation. But I think they're fun, so let's do it. Let's do it. If anybody wants to follow my Facebook page, my Instagram, excuse me, or my, uh, my other YouTube channel, where I do uh, vlogs, chats, and live personal mini readings. All that information is in the description. Okay? So, let's see what we can get for you. Pisces universe. What we got for my Pisces people? What else can we tell my Pisces people? Oop, move this deck right here. What else can we tell my Pisces people? What else can we tell my Pisces people for May 2019? Ooh, that one yelled at me. Three of Wands reverse. Tired of waiting on something? Little tired of waiting on something, huh? Let's get three shuffles now. Here's one, two, and three. Tired of waiting on something, or maybe you just changed your mind? We will see. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> so overall here, the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. A happy, successful relationship. Hopefully, you know. However, the way people may be seeing you is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, you're a water sign, okay? So, obviously, obviously, this is going to be the overall energy, the overall goal. Maybe this is what you're tired of waiting on. Maybe this is what you're tired of waiting on. Um, however, I think people may be noticing that you're starting to really become independent. Maybe financially, you know, I don't know. We'll see if the Nine of Cups comes up here anyway. But the Nine of Pentacles is... Yeah, I got me. I'm taking care of myself financially. I pay my own bills. I do. You know what I'm saying? I think people may be noticing. It's like Pisces. Hell yeah. You know, doing your own thing. On the inside, though, mm, I kind of feel like you're tired of waiting on this because it feels a little bit out of your reach. Okay, I kind of feel like it's a little bit too far away from you. You know, like I know a lot of people read this card as a missed opportunity, but. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you feel like you missed out on an opportunity. Maybe that's what it is. <clears throat> ah, okay. Well, I definitely see that something ended in the past here that you have not moved on from. Okay? Can't quit thinking about it. But I don't really think you want anybody to know. You could be dealing with an Aries right here. But, yeah, whatever this ending was. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with as well. It's going, you know what I'm saying? It's still running through your head and you're getting tired of waiting on it, I think. But I don't think you want anybody to know with this Emperor energy and this Nine of Pentacles energy. I think most of you have been working really, really hard to not appear to be so vulnerable. You know, mm, looks like the person you're dealing with. Hey, look, neither of y'all have really moved on from this. They got the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You got the Six of Swords in the reverse. These are almost, almost the same energies here. Okay. One's uh a more thought-oriented version. The other one is a more emotional-oriented version. And it looks like the person you're dealing with would probably like to reconcile here. Would, But they're not communicating it to you. They're not communicating it to you. Ooh, man, getting a positive reading here. Yep, see, you're holding yourself back here. For whatever reason, you're holding yourself back, and you're not making any moves towards this individual. You could be dealing with an earth sign right here uh, or a fire sign. doesn't matter who, though. It could be any sign. It does not matter. However, it looks like you're definitely holding yourself back, and for whatever reason, you're not wanting to do it. <laughs> See, I think this person here wants to communicate to you, though. They really do. They got something that they want to say. They want this burden off their back right here. Something's burdening them. They want to say something. It's it, like it would, if I could just say this one thing, you know what I'm saying? It would make me feel a little bit better, you know? Because they haven't moved on from this here either. Well. Okie dokie. Looks like we have a bit of a, a positive reading here. Doesn't happen very often, but I like it when it does. Believe it or not, y'all, I don't like reading negative readings. 
Some people are like, why does he always read negative stuff? Well, when negative cards come out, that's the way I read it. So let's look a little bit more into the person that you're dealing with here then. Person, people, and or situations. Ooh, Ten of Cups showed for them too. Person, people, and or situations. Having the biggest influence on Pisces. Ooh. Mm, four of Wands reversed. That door is shut. Slam shut. All right? They don't feel like they can get through it. Let's get five shuffles here. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Two more. Mmm. King of Swords in the reverse there. Well, it does show where they did walk away. Somebody walked away here and put a stop to this. I kind of have a feeling this was a bit of a karmic situation. Yep, this was a karmic situation. And either they walked away or you walked away from them to hop off of this karmic wheel right here. Alright, that's the way I'm seeing this. With the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Kind of walked away and just said, nah. And they may be at a distance from me too. Somebody, oops. Oh! So there could be a bit of a distance between the two of you. Could be like a physical distance, you know what I'm saying? They could be a long ways away from you, or it could be psychological or emotional distance. Whatever it is, there's some kind of wall there. Some kind of wall. It doesn't matter if it's uh, space. Space and time don't really exist. So it's really all the same thing, okay? Like I tell everybody, right now, if you right now become emotionally attached to something, you could hop on a plane and fly onto the other side of the world. And if you're still emotionally attached to it, that space means nothing whatsoever. And vice versa. If you cut off emotions, you could be like, like cut off emotions to a person and still be in the same room with them and you might as well be a million miles apart. Make sense there? You understand what I'm saying now? So yeah, they're not really too, too happy about this, I don't think. Like they didn't, they, they, they felt like either you, you, them, or both of y'all just wasn't, they wasn't happy in this situation right here. And now there's still unfinished business lingering between the two of you is how they feel. They feel like there's unfinished business. However, I feel like they're standing pretty firm in their decision and they're not um, extending or accepting any offers. Okay. Well, they still haven't moved on from it though. They still haven't moved on from it. So let's see if anything new is coming in for Pisces or what timelines are they headed towards? Either or, or both. See what timelines you're headed towards and anything possibly new. There's King of Swords reversed again. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of feel like y'all both share a bad attitude towards each other. All right. Let's get four shuffles here. Here's one. Two. Three. Four. Page of Wands reversed. And four. Okay. Hey, there's that nine of pentacles again, though. There's that nine of pentacles again. You know what? For the most part, you could be dealing with an earth sign. There's been lots of earth energy coming out here in this uh, reading. Uh, you could be dealing with, ooh, yep, yeah, see? And then the five of wands. Five of wands. So, right now, what I see you doing probably for the next month or so is just maintaining a sense of balance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but just keeping everything balanced, keeping your emotions in check, okay? And like maintaining your own sense of independence, whether that's financial. I haven't seen anything. It's, this is the only like water card, really. I mean, as far as your emotions, looking like you got your emotions pretty stabilized here, okay? Um, however, with this situation, I really don't see any communication happening anytime soon. Not, not at least for the next month here. Okay. Cause somebody here is very, very disappointed in the way this turned out. So, 
Uh, and again, I think y'all are probably marrying each other and whatever decisions, like this could be you, the person you're dealing with, or both of you. Again, very, very stern in the decision that was made. And I don't really see a new leap of faith being taken because there's just too much conflict involved. Entirely too much conflict. It's like, nope, I'm not going to take a new leap of faith with you because every time we talk, all we do is fight. So it's not happening. I don't know if that's you feeling that way or them. Take it however it resonates. If it's not you, it's them. If it's not them, it's you. But again, see, a really bad attitude. Bad attitude, okay? So, okie dokie. How about some advice? What advice do we have from a Pisces people? Advice. What advice do we have? Oh, the magician card. Monitor your thoughts and your emotions. Keep constant monitoring on, on how you're thinking and how you're feeling, okay? Because your reality around you is responding to your thoughts and your emotions in ways you probably don't even realize, okay? Let's get five shuffles here. There's one, two, three, two more. Don't sit around and think about, this was on your, your internal energy last time. Don't sit around and view things as being out of your reach, okay? If you're sitting around all the time thinking like, that's too good for me, that's too far out of my reach, then universe is going to mirror that right back to you and that's what you're going to keep getting, okay? Do not forget the negative things that happened in the past, but like I tell everybody, don't go back and relive it, look at it objectively, Okay? There's, there's nothing to wait on here. Don't sit around and wait on this. Again, you're in manifestation mode. If you wait on it, the universe is like, okay, this person likes waiting. Here's some more waiting. You know, the emperor though, it's definitely time for you to take control of your life and probably take control of your finances, which I see you already doing uh, for the most part. Also, I would work on making logical decisions logical decisions, not emotional decisions, okay? I see you're still struggling with that just a little bit, but you're a water sign, that's to be expected, but however, that doesn't mean that it can't be achieved. Every single sign comes with their own list of challenges and things to overcome. That's a big water sign thing, making decisions based on logic and reason and not emotion. If you can figure out that and crack that code, that'd be a good uh, upgrade for you, okay? But in the meantime, keep your emotions in check and be mindful of everybody around you. Make sure that everything is fair and just and even. Try not to be too selfish, especially when it comes to emotional matters, okay? And also, watch out for things that might make you feel a little bit too good, all right? Watch out being obsessive, any kind of obsessive compulsion. Watch out for those types of things, okay? Like, I don't know if you like to like to sip on the bottle a little bit every now and then, then on your way home from work, don't drive past the liquor store. Just take take a detour so you don't even see it, you know, that type of thing. Cool, all right, Pisces. Uh, I hope that reading resonated and helped you guys. If not, well, my bad, check your moon sign then. <laughs> but anyway, though, we'll see how things continue to play out with the dailies and the weeklies and the weekends and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. I greatly appreciate you all for tuning in. All right, have a good one.